beautiful day outside. I'm going to do a video of how to propagate your moss. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me. Encourage me to do more video like this. So thanks for watching and keep watching. I'm gonna do a moss propagation today. So stay tuned. Okay. Okay, so what I have here is the seed raising mix because I feel like it's softer for the moss to grow on um, compared to the other potting mix is it's like more bark and stuff and it's harder for the moss to settle on this um, on the bottom of the tray there will be a mesh preventing dirt to go through so that's one way to keep the dirt in here not escaping this is the moss that I collected from the local university so I went there with my friends and we collect some moss here so these this are different type of moss and this is one of my favorite it's like a flower and this one also is like green carpet so I can't wait to see this one to turn out on that um, for the soil I feel like it's best to press it hard because most of moss I see are growing from a hard surface like around my house after you got this I'm gonna do a second one of this so I'll show you exactly how to do it so you feel the dirt halfway through here the reason for that is um, when the moss grow you also it's gonna take a little bit of space um, and also it preventing the moss exposed to the air so it's not dry out so quickly so this moss I got this one here I'm just gonna spray it and mix it and until it's wet yep so you see you see the water dripping out of the tray so that's when it's ready so you see it's hard and now you just wanna pop it on so lay it on like that you can sort it out by yourself, but I'm not sorting it out because I don't mind them mixed together. So I just lay them out like that. So these are the fern that are growing on the side of the rock. So you can also grow that too. You put it in the soil and keep it moist, so it will grow. Like I got this tiny fern here. So it's for free. But these moss are beautiful. Look, it's amazing. And I can't wait to see them turned out. So these one are beautiful too. That's okay. Um, so you just lay them out like that. And you can do a tutorial with this. Those moss are beautiful. I got these one. Jilly's little one. So I kind of lay them out. And remember to keep it moist, but not soaking wet. This is how you're laying it out. Oh my god, there's a spider. There's a spider. Okay. So I get that's how you're propagating your moss. So now all you have to do is keep it moist and keep it in the shady area but not exposed to the sun or it will dry out really fast. You would also need drainage for this one and cuts because this one you see here, they have holes on the bottom and I put mesh under the, the soil to drain away when I water. So this one will grow out eventually but the first time you do this from the natural inhabitant you need to cover it up you can also cover it up with the plastic wrap to prevent the moisture from escaping um so yeah so this is one way i propagated for my terrarium um you can also see that this one is also beautiful if you make it like like in a little ball put it on top so it's gonna grow out and you can also even hang it on um, a string so it's gonna be a, a floating moss and it's quite beautiful so so yeah so that's one of my terrarium ideas for you guys so you can make a solid balls and wrap it around with moss and hang it inside a glass um, terrarium so yeah so you can have a floating balls but now I'm just gonna water it so Thank you very much. I'll keep updated to you guys and how to see how they grow. Um, so thanks for watching. Try it out. Thanks. Bye. Okay, guys. Um, so after I finish putting all my propagating my moss, I'm gonna bring it over here. It's a beautiful day, so I really want to stay outside today. And this is where my koi pond is, and I'm gonna put it under here so it get plenty of shade, plenty of moisture. Gonna this is one of my succulents from my friend gave it to me um, 
is beautiful. It was small, but now see how much it's grown. I'm gonna put it here for the time being. And I should put it here. So it get plenty of humidity and it get plenty of shade. So this one here is an air plant. It's a baby one and I took it out. I also propagating some moss here. Oh, so did not that great. I don't know what happened, but sorry about the camera. But so yeah, I'm gonna gonna put my here and wait till it grow. Thanks for watching.